let's look at the playoff picture. All of a sudden, the Niners are the number one seed. If they went out, they get a bye week, home games. I save money. You save money. Mm -hmm. It'd be wonderful. How is this shaping up? Well, Niners are the one seed right now. Uh, Philly fell to the five. So, you know, the way it goes right now, it goes Niners one, Dallas two, Detroit three, Tampa four, Philly five, Minnesota six, Green Bay seven. So if the if the season ended, the Niners would get the bye. And then the question is, Green Bay would get Dallas. Is there any chance that Green Bay could beat Dallas? A lot of people think that Green Bay is kind of a sleeper team, Grant. We're going to find out. They're definitely playing better better ball. And then Vikings would get Detroit. And then uh, Eagles would get Tampa. And Tampa would host Eagles in Tampa. Yeah. So I, I think Tampa, I think Eagles would beat Tampa. I think Detroit would be the beat the Vikings. And then I just don't know about Green Bay and Dallas. I think Dallas would probably beat Green Bay, but I wouldn't put it past Green Bay to get the win there. Um, but either way, if, if Green Bay doesn't beat Dallas, then it's very likely, and, and everything goes according to form, the Niners' first-round playoff game would be against the Eagles, and the, and the Cowboys would get the Lions, and uh, the winner would be at Levi's uh, if the Niners win uh, to determine who goes to the bowl. So it could be Niners and or Niners Eagles, then Niners Cowboys. But that that bye week is essential, man. You got to have that bye week. You got to have that rest. I just don't think the NFC playoffs matter. I think the Niners are going to be the number one seed. They're going to cruise. I'm more interested. I mean, I'm going all the really? way to the Super Bowl. Yeah, I just don't think the NFC is good. The, I, the Dallas isn't good. I don't think they're that good. Um, I don't think. Philly's good at all. I don't think Detroit's good at all. Um, Detroit just lost to the missing. Bears. Well, you're not missing anybody. It's Niners, yeah, I mean, Cowboys, it's, it's Lions, Eagles. I mean, Packers. Packers are the wild card in the NFC. Packers. Yeah, and like the Vikings beat the Niners. And if Kirk Cousins were still healthy, maybe they'd have a chance because Justin Jefferson and Jordan Addison are quite a pair of wide receivers. But I, like, when the Niners are in the Super Bowl, I'm more interested because they're two and two against the AFC. The AFC is a much tougher conference, and I, Cincinnati isn't even in the play. What would they? How would they match up with Buffalo? How would they match up with Cincinnati and Jake Browning? How would they match up with Kansas City? Think about Kansas City. They're not as good as they were last year, but that's one team in the NFL that is absolutely not intimidated by the 49ers. Not at all. There's something wrong with Kansas City, though, isn't there? No doubt. There's no. something, something, There's something wrong with every wrong. team except the Niners. I mean, if you said to me, Wager today on a Super Bowl matchup. I'm taking Niners Dolphins. I would like that. I think it would be a great like show, that. but I'm taking Niners Dolphins. Yeah. I really, I've been watching that in season hard knocks, and Mike McDaniels has some momentum going right now. Yeah. And that defense is coming around. They got Jalen Ramsey, Vic Fangio. Yeah. 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 That's a good, I forgot about Fangio. But yeah, they, and their defense is coming around. They're getting, getting a little healthier. McDaniels got, bevy of great weapons they're good yeah what a, what an interesting super bowl week that would be mcdaniel and shanahan taking turns at the podium taking little shots at each other pretending they're friends i would love that <laughs> yeah yeah that would be a lot of fun um munch muncherificus says ravens game will tell all with the number one seed sure that's going to be an interesting game Anything else you want to talk about before we go? We got the game in like 12 minutes. Yeah. Um, let's see. I did have one other thing. Well, yeah. Let me see. Um, oh, the Verrett. The what, what, what's Verrett. your What's your deal on Verrett? I mean, they talked about Verrett. Then they didn't sign him. And then Mooney played two snaps, pointed to his groin, came out. Is that a bad is Verrett signed today because Mooney's seriously hurt and they're not going to tell us? What's your guess? It went on, through on... my head, right? I mean, like, they happened the same day. Ward goes down, Verrett gets signed. So it's possible the Niners offered Verrett whatever, X amount of dollars, and Verrett said, no, that's disrespectful. And that's why it took a month. And then suddenly Ward goes down and the Niners say, all right, we'll double it. Is that possible? All right, man, I, here's a bonus. I don't know. Come to the, I don't know. I would think maybe. All right, dude. Good point. Here's an extra eight dollars. Come to the team. You got. You. I'll say this, man. It's December. You cannot invent corners. 
And when when you know, anybody that can play corner that's worth a, worth a damn, you gotta you gotta get. The other question I would have is what's gonna happen with Hertz? Do you want Hertz? Yeah, I'm sure they do too at a price. You know, I'm sure they're looking at Hertz as someone that they would give like maybe two or three targets to a game. Maybe. Maybe. I mean, would they give Ertz more targets than use check? Like Ertz is someone they may not even use. So Kittle Insurance, I'm, I'm, maybe I'm, Kittle Insurance Grant. Yeah, insurance. But I imagine the offer they would give him would be very like basically, you know, we can't pay you money per se, but you could get a ring. What do you say? And I don't know if how where Zach, I mean, if he if he wanted that, he'd be here. I bet you there's an offer on the table for Zach and it's disrespectful or underwhelming. And you know what? He might take it in a week or two. You, you know what's you know what's interesting too, Grant, is that I think Ertz at this point's all about the ring, and he'll probably he might be be sitting back handicapping the Super Bowl race, and if that's the case, he may just come to the Niners for whatever price. He just wants to wait as long as he can wait. Um, yeah. Who do you got tonight? By the way, I go. I'm going Dolphins and Packers on the teaser. So that means I got Packers my, plus a point. And I got Dolphins uh, minus six. Who do you got? I like that. I think I like that. I don't know how teasers work, but I think that's a smart way to do it. I'm just interested to see what the Dolphins have because I'm still trying to look around the league. Like, can any team challenge the 49ers? I don't think any team in the NFC can. We're supposed to take Dallas seriously. We've seen Dallas try against. Dallas feel seems like intimidated by the 49ers. I would, I would have to say. Dallas can't be, cannot have confidence against the Niners. No, couple, we got a couple more uh, uh, supers too. Super chats. All right, cool. We'll get those. Uh, Niners, mm -hmm. Finns would prove who the geniuses is for show. For yeah, show. Seriously. Fish and chips. LK going to reach out to MDJ before Rams again. UK fave. Love MDJ. Oh yeah. Get us out. Seriously. Yeah. No. He Maurice Jones Drew is a really good, really good dude. Real quick, is Mahomes being a crybaby? It's a bad look from the Chiefs yesterday. Bad look. It's like they got it right. Dude, the I, guy was offsides. I don't know what you want to say. The guy was offsides. They got it right. So hey, whatever, I, I want... comp, whatever, you got to be quiet. with, with you know, Don't call it. Why? Because you're the Super Bowl champions? Get on side. How about that? One last one before we jet. Thank you, bro. Suki Pazu yeah, Suki I was going to say thank you. My girlfriend says you have a nice sweater on. Suki <laughs> Thank you. I it's almost like a Cosby Republic. sweater. It's a Cosby sweater. A Cosby sweater. Uh, you got to be old school for Cosby sweater references. Hey, I...